Hockey Canada and Hockey Alberta for believing in me um, and allowing me to represent you nationally and internationally. Um, and I've been very fortunate to visit uh, a lot of different countries. I've um, been able to uh, gain lifelong friendships, those that I still maintain contact with today. Well, my reaction was that I was just stunned. <laughs> and I'm usually not very speechless, but tonight I had no words, and they said I looked like a frightened deer when I went up to receive the award. But it truly is an honor. I must say, sometimes as a companion, you feel like, oh, another time your husband's gone or, and you have, you're left holding the bag at home, you know? But I said to one of the ladies here tonight, the one wonderful thing about hockey is that I have met so many wonderful, wonderful people. And they are very special. I have made friends from across Canada. And I have loved every moment of it. Uh, extremely humbled. This, what a great evening, and to be an award winner and recognized by your peers as the Hal Lewis Award winner. Uh, I just couldn't ask for any better recognition, recognition than uh, to have that from your peers and co-workers. We work with some truly unbelievable people at Hockey Canada, so to win this award is uh, something very special to me. Well, I feel very honored and feel very humble as far as being involved with Hockey Canada over the years and going back a long way as far as my hockey experience to be recognized. Certainly there's a lot of volunteers right across Canada that every bit is deserving and I'm very appreciative of this, uh, this award. I'm sort of winding down career-wise and to have all of my family present for this award was really something special. So to me, you know, thinking that everybody was present, to, uh, you know, and they probably don't remember some of the things and some of the pictures that come up. But I think it was good for them to see that as well as me. First of all, being part of this, I, I really didn't know what to expect coming into to the evening because some people were asking me questions and I, just, I really don't know. I have no idea what it's about. And then, and then I really didn't know that there were going to be that many people here either. And I had prepared my speech, and then I said, "Oh, I got to change this. I've got to change that." Um, but I, as I said during my speech, it, it, I'm really humbled by by all this. It's, it's quite an honor. It's an amazing honor, actually. And I, and you don't do this to be honored, at least not from the officiating standpoint. I'm sure everybody that won awards uh, this evening, they don't really do it to get an award. They do it because of passion. And for me, passion and officiating is, is it's all together. And I, and I love it, and I hope to continue to do it for so many years. Um, and, and then when I was looking around the room, and I wanted to add this morning, the connection to this morning's uh, discussion on respect, I really thought that it was really important to, as an official to get that message across. And, and that being the theme of this uh, annual meeting, I thought that it would be great to mention it. So that was part of my speech as well. quite an honor and especially to have it happen in your own province that's fantastic. I think it's trying to make a change. I was uh, looking at uh, what was out there and trying to trying to make a difference. That was the bottom line. C'est tout un honneur que j'ai reçu. Je m'attendais pas à ça hein quand on commence dans le hockey on on, on, on est là parce qu'on est passionné, mais de, de voir notre travail reconnu, ça a été fantastique. C'était une soirée que j'oublierai jamais de ma vie avec ma famille, etc. Ça a été vraiment, je remercie encore Hockey Canada et Hockey Québec là-dessus. I grew up, born and raised in Cape Breton Island, and uh, my minor hockey uh, was on outdoor rinks. And my ice time, most of my ice time, was cleaning the rink. So uh, skills as a hockey player 
I'm, I uh, know where I sit. But I became uh, blessed with uh, uh, a daughter uh, who at four years of age said, Dad, I want to play hockey. And that brought me back into a sport that I played, yes, adult rec and so on. But they made me look at the game in a total different way and uh, I really have to thank them. There's so many people I have to thank. Well, I'm just ecstatic. I never thought it would ever happen to me, you know. I, I've always tried to be one of the unsung heroes, you know. Uh, in the background, uh, I've, I must say though I've worked hard uh, for hockey and, and enjoyed it. I enjoy the parents, I enjoy the fellowship that hockey has. Uh, you know, tournaments uh, to me are, uh, it seems to be parents' vacation time. You know, it's, it's their holiday. Uh, there's, there's so many wonderful things happen at it. You know, there's sorrow when they lose, but there's great happiness when they win. But it's a, uh, it's. It's a really a great game though. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun.